Hi everyone. In this lecture, I'm going to create a Google BigQuery service account. So first of all, I'll open the Google search bar. In the Google search bar, I'll type Google BigQuery and I'll click this first link google.com cloud.google.com slash BigQuery. I'll click this link and this is going to take me to this page. Try BigQuery free. Now, this is going to be my email address. Country is Pakistan. What best describes your organization or needs? So I'm going to uh, select others. Okay, click this. Initially, you're going to get 300 credit uh, for free. No auto charge after free trial ends. So you won't be charged uh, once the trial period ends. If you want to upgrade the, the account, then you will be charged. Okay, if you use the credit or debit debit card, you wouldn't be charged unless you manually upgrade to, to a paid account. Okay, now click continue. Now you have to provide this information, account type, payment details. You have to provide your debit or credit card number here then the billing address then you have to click the start my free trial so once you're going to click this start my free trial this is going to take to this page okay so i've already created this uh, trial account so i'm not going to create this again okay so this is how it is going to be looked like so i have done using my another email okay now i uh, initially i'll get 300 credits for free now after that once i'll be in this page i'll go here navigation menu and i'll go in the api and services and then i'll go in the cred credentials and i'll create my new service account uh, i'll go here create credentials then i'll click service account and i'll name this service account name. i'll have to provide the service account name so google BigQuery account okay service account description so if you want to provide the description for what reason you are using this account you can do this okay this is optional create and continue service account ID okay select grant this service account access to a project you have to create a role select a role so I'll provide the role to owner. So this is going to have full access. The owner is going to have full access to most Google cloud services, resources. Uh, okay, now I'll give the role to owner. Uh, click continue. Fail to add, uh, fail to add project roles. So let me just. Okay, now. Okay, now this is optional. Done. The service account has been created. This is the link of my service account. I'll click this link and once I'll go here and I'll go to the keys. I'll create a new key for my service account and it will be in JSON format. So there are two formats for compatibility with good okay i'll select this json format create this so the file has been created so i'll save this file so the next step is to install dbt core and establish a connection with google bigquery so first of all i'll open the command prompt cmd i'll i'll go in my search bar and open the command prompt okay so afterwards I'll go in the directory where I'm going to install my dbt core. So I'll go in my D directory and this is going to be the directory. Okay. D let me just go to the directory and let me create a folder here and I'll make my folder as BigQuery. Okay, go cd dir cd 
big query okay then i'll i'll use this command python so this is going to create the virtual environment for me so let me just execute this command dbt core okay some folders have been created include directory and this python virtual environment so it has been created successfully next i'll activate the virtual environment so what i will do i will go in cd i'll go in this directory dir then cd dbt core okay then cd scripts then activate okay now dbt core i'll go in my dbt core folder okay uh, after that i'll use this command to install the dbt core in bigquery okay adapter so this is going to uh, install the bigquery adapter for dbt enter collecting okay this is going to take some time to install the bigquery adapter Okay, this is done and dusted. Next, I'll in initiate my project. So to initiate the project, you're going to uh, execute this command dbt init. So I'll use this command dbt init, enter. Enter a name for your project. So I'll name this project as green field. enter enter a number which database would you like to use so i'll select the big query enter one okay uh, desire authentication method so i'll choose number one or i can choose the service account so let me just choose the two option so key file here I have to provide the key file so let me just show you the key which I have already downloaded and I have saved it in my key folder let me just open the key and let me extract some information from this key file so first it is asking the path of this key file so the path is going to be this so first you have to select the key then press the shift button then right click and from here you're going to copy as path then go here and paste this path here remove this and remove this copy and okay enter a project id so how i'm going to get the project id open the key project id so this is going to be my project id copy 
so this is going to be the project ID so you have to copy this and paste there enter data set name so this is going to be the schema name so let me just uh, give the name test so I'm just randomly giving the name test enter threads one job execution timeout second let's say 200 okay one uh, desired location option US okay so uh, let me so it happy modeling so everything is done and dusted now I'll go in my profile so where the profile is located I'll go in my users I'll go in C C directory users and then I will go in username is this and then I'll go dot dbt so this is the folder where this profile is located so this profile is going to have the project name so this one was my first project and this is the new project which I have just created this one for this project I am establishing connection with snowflake right now you can see the connection with snowflake username and warehouse uh, as far as this is concerned the greenfield project is concerned look I, ha I have provided the key key file path location method is service account project id type is bigquery target uh, is dev data set name is test now let me just remove it i don't want the first project only this single project i want in my profile.yml file next so if you want to initiate multiple projects create multiple projects you can do it by executing the command dbt in it okay now let's just test this dbt debug let's test test the connection so this is going to test the connection with okay look connection test okay fine uh, profile okay found dbt underscore project dot yml file this is giving me error error not found the reason because i am in different directory and this project dot yml file is in my different directory and i have to show you the directory where this is located so let me just go to the bigquery part dbt core greenfield and this is the directory where this file is located okay connection is successfully established look now what i will do go here navigation menu and i'll go bigquery and sql workforce i'll click sql workforce from here now this is okay create a new uh, sql workforce right now what i will do i will open the visual studio code and let me just open this file open folder and the name of my folder is going to be this one this one select folder a new folder has been created uh, selected yes okay now what i will do go to my terminal new terminal and i'll open the command prompt and again this is the project but first i will go in script cd scripts and first i will activate activate okay afterwards what i will do i will uh, cd D, go to dir uh, go to this greenfield folder okay dir and 
let's just execute the dbt run so this is going to create this is going to uh, deploy these two models uh, in the google bigquery where's the model section look these two models now look table has been created and this is going to be deployed here in snowflake in sorry in google bigquery just refresh this refresh content look a test schema has been created and these two tables have been created here i think the, the second one is the view let me just check the second one is the view and the first one is the table now let me just query this what result i will get select star from my underscore first model and i have to run this okay null and one so i have successfully executed the model which has been deployed by executing the command dbt run 